class recording turn on your camera all of you told already if your cameras are off there is no provision for giving the attendance for you people so please uh, turn on or switch on your cameras everyone okay so listen carefully welcome back to social science class this is geography class for you and uh, we already started the discussion of chapter number 4 agriculture right okay so far we discussed about the different agricultural practices in india and the major crops in india okay and started the discussion of beverage crops beverage crops like tea and coffee tea and coffee discussion of the same is completed okay again number of other different types of crops also are there so we are going to discuss about such kind of crops and the geographical and climatic condition required for the growth of such kind of a crops okay so back to the textbook okay after tea and coffee tea and coffee you can see here okay horticulture crops horticulture crops so what is the speciality of coffee here indian coffee is known as dash hmm? what type of coffee plant we are cultivating in india in idea in idea yeah. hmm what variety basically good quality what is that good Ar arabic very ah good. arabic arabic okay so you can see here india produces 3.2 percent of the world coffee production underline indian coffee is known as the world for its good quality okay the arabica arabica that is the variety initially brought from yemen is produced in the country this variety is in great demand all over the world initially its cultivation was reduced on the baba budan hills underline baba Bud sorry baba budan hills and even today its cultivation is uh, confined to the nilgiri hills okay nilgiri hills basically is a border of uh, uh, karnataka kerala and tamil nadu karnataka kerala and tamil nadu okay you can see uh, that's all about coffee okay all about coffee here so you check in your notes also next one horticulture crops what do you understood by the term horticulture an idea what is horticulture horticulture what is that fruits vegetables cultivation of fruits and vegetables fruits and vegetables okay cultivation of fruits and vegetables is commonly known as horticulture horticulture so <clears throat> another products that what we are produce in india in 2008 so your book it is different the year is different there is that 2016 yes sir yes okay india was the second largest producer right yes yes second largest producer of fruits and vegetables in the world after china india is the producer of tropical as well as temperate fruits underline that okay we are the second largest producer of fruits and vegetables after china after china okay in india both tropical as well as temperate fruits growing temperate fruits growing okay so what are those fruits tropical as well as temperate in the sense is closer to the tropical region or uh, the equator okay so such kind of fruits are growing in india mangoes of maharashtra andhra pradesh telangana uttar pradesh and west bengal oranges of nagpur and chirapunji meghalaya bananas of kerala mizoram maharashtra and tamil nadu litchi and goa of uttar pradesh and bihar pineapples of meghalaya <coughs> grapes of andhra pradesh telangana and maharashtra apples pears apricots and walnuts of jammu and kashmir and himachal pradesh are in great demand the world over so major fruits producing regions in our country okay what are they so underline that you want to make a list of that and I want to learn mangoes of maharashtra andhra pradesh telangana uttar pradesh and west bengal so major mango producing states what are they maharashtra andhra pradesh telangana uttar pradesh and west bengal clear clear so okay. make a list of that and learn it and oranges of nagpur in maharashtra okay chirapunji that's in meghalaya okay so oranges are from maharashtra and chirapunji basically maharashtra and meghalaya nagpur yeah. chirapunji nagpur chirapunji okay Next one, bananas of Kerala, bananas of Kerala, Mizoram, Maharashtra, and Tamil Nadu. And uh, Tamil Nadu, these states are famous for uh, producing banana. Litchi and Goa of Uttar Pradesh and Bihar. Uttar Pradesh and uh, Bihar is famous for uh, Litchi and Goa production. Okay, pineapples from Meghalaya, grapes of Andhra Pradesh, Telangana, and Maharashtra. Okay, grapes basically from Andhra Pradesh, Telangana, and Maharashtra. 
apples ps apricots and walnuts okay basically from jammu and kashmir and himachal pradesh are of great demand in the world okay so please observe here some uh, fruit it is growing in uh, what you can say maharashtra most of these fruits what are they so you can see here mangoes maharashtra clear oranges maharashtra is there right bananas maharashtra is there okay next one last one what is that pineapples maharashtra okay clear or not so it's a common state Mm, almost all the fruits yeah. are growing in that region. Like that, you should prepare a list of these uh, uh, particular states where the fruits and uh, different types of crops are growing. Okay, so it is helpful for you people to remember. Okay, for example, I told Maharashtra. Then Uttar Pradesh also. Please observe about uh, or check about. Uh, sorry, please check Uttar Pradesh also. So India produces about thirty percentage of the world vegetables. Is that correct? The thirteen. Check it. Is that thirteen? Savio is observing very keenly. Savio, you got that? Got that? No. What sir? Is a paragraph like this in your textbook? No sir. Okay, let it, let it be. No problem. So just understand. India produces about thirteen percentage of the world's vegetables. It is an important producer of pea, cauliflower, onion, cabbage, tomato, brinjal, and a potato. Okay, let it be. Moving forward, next important crop, non-food crops. Non-food crops. Please observe. Sir, non-food crops. That point is the uh, next page. What is that, Melvin? That point is the uh, in the next page. Next page. Okay, fine. So just read that. Okay, non-food crops. Rubber. The first one it is rubber. Okay, it is an equatorial crop. Underline that. Rubber is a dash crop. Equatorial crop. Equatorial crop. Rubber is an equatorial crop. Equatorial crop. Okay, near to the equator, but under special conditions, it is also grown in tropical and subtropical regions. Okay, basically, it is an equatorial crop, but in some special condition, we are able to cultivate that in a tropical and sorry, you can see yeah, tropical and subtropical area. Tropical and subtropical areas, we are able to cultivate. Uh, Rubber. Okay, rubber. So, what is the use of rubber, or what are the uses of rubber? What are the uses of rubber? Natural products. Basically, natural rubber. Making sandals. What's have you? Making sandals. Ah, oh, okay. Then, what about tires for the vehicles? Yes, tires. What about sports equipments? Yes. Yes. Okay. So, what about the safety equipments? Yes, sir. Electrical industry. Yes. Sir. So, different uses are there for rubber, right? Okay. Clear. So, please observe that. Please learn that. So, <clears throat> it required moist and humid climate with a rainfall of more than two hundred centimeter and a temperature above twenty-five degree Celsius. Twenty-five degree Celsius. Rubber is an important industrial raw material. It is mainly grown in Kerala, Tamil Nadu, Karnataka, and Andaman and Nicobar Islands and the Garo Hills of Meghalaya. Okay, Garo Hills of Meghalaya. In 2010-11, India ranked fourth among the world's natural rubber producers. That statement correct? India ranked fourth among the. Check that natural rubber producers in the world. What what? We don't have that paragraph. That paragraph. Okay, so let it be. Okay, so Savi, please read that paragraph about the rubber. Please read that loudly. So, um, it is an equatorial crop, ah. but under special condition, it is also grown in tropical and subtropical areas. It okay. requires moist and humid climate with rainfall of more than two hundred centimeter and temperature about twenty five degrees Celsius. Hmm. Rubber is an important industrial raw material. Mm. It is mainly grow, grown in Kerala, Tamil Nadu, Karnataka, and Andhra Pradesh, and um, Nicobar Islands and Garo Hills. Same only, no? Any <laughs> changes are there? <laughs> what is that? Have you? Okay, guys, please observe here. Yeah. 
Okay. So you thinking about the last point, right? Well, it's natural rubber producers. Okay, that last point is not. Okay, let it be. So all other things are there. Okay, fine. So you uh, will not get a question like that for examination. Leave that. Okay, so you can see a pie chart here. Okay, so that related with the consumption of natural rubber later with the 2010-11. The pie chart is there or not? No, sir. No, sir. So leave that. No, no. So let it be. Let it be. No, no, so there, there is no question from that area. So leave that. Okay. So next one, fiber crops. Fiber crops, right? Yes, sir. Yes. Okay. Yes, sir. So we already discussed about what are the non-food crops. So we are discussing about the non-food crops. Okay. Basically, we are discussing about the rubber, uh, fiber crops like a cotton, a jute. Okay. Cotton and a jute. These are the three things that are coming under that category. What is that? Non-food crops, non-food crops. Okay. And fiber crops, two are here. One is cotton, the other is jute. One more is the silk production. So we'll discuss about that too. Okay, so fiber crops. What do you mean by fiber crops? Fiber crops. Fiber crops. What is the utility? How can we use that? Textile. Fiber, yeah, basically for the textile production. Textile production, cloth materials, fabric. Okay. Clear. So, what are the natural fibers? Cotton, silk, Cotton, jute. silk, jute, jute, then wool. Um, okay. So, uh, basically, these three: cotton, jute, and hemp from the plants. From the plants. Okay. And uh, silk from. Silk from. Hello. Silk from. Ah, silkworm, correct. Okay. Silk so, from silkworm. Ah, okay, okay. Got it. Okay. Melvin, fine. Okay. Silk from silkworm. Yeah, fine. Okay. So, <laughs> that process is known as sericulture, right? You studied in the junior classes, right? About sericulture. Hmm? Hmm? Basically, we are uh, using this uh, mulberry bushes to raise the silkworms, right? Okay. So, okay. come back. Pure fiber crops, cotton, jute, hemp, and the natural silk. Natural silk. Okay. Synthetic material also is available. Natural silk are the four major fiber crops grown in India. Underline. The first three are derived from the crops grown in the soil. Okay. The first three are derived from the crops that are grown in the soil. Okay. Plants, basically. The latter, I mean the silk, uh, is obtained from cocoons of the silk worm. Fed on green leaves, especially mulberry, right? Underline mulberry. The rearing of silkworm for the production of silk fiber is known as sericulture. What is that? Sericulture. Sericulture, right? Okay, what is that? Rearing of silkworm to obtain silk is known as sericulture. Underline sericulture. Okay, so that all about. Uh, fiber crops there so we are going for an independent discussion on cotton and jute cotton and jute okay so three more questions are there for the examination that is short note about the cotton and jute and jute okay so india is believed to be the original homeland of cotton plant one mark underline India is believed to be the original home of cotton plant, right? Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. So cotton is one of the, hello. Yes, sir. Okay, yes, sir. Fine. Okay, cotton is one of the main raw material for cotton textile industry. In 2008. 2016. 16, yeah, fine. 2016, <coughs> India was second. the second largest. Producer of cotton after China. Oh, yeah, fine. <laughs> Second largest producer of cotton after China. Cotton grows well in drier parts of the black cotton soil. So, cotton will grow in the drier parts of drier parts of that should be in dry cotton soil where rainfall is limited or less. Clear. So, basically, the region is termed as the Deccan Plateau region. Deccan Plateau. Some regions of Maharashtra, Andhra Pradesh, Telangana, Tamil Nadu, all coming under this region, the Deccan Plateau, the southern India. 
Okay. Sir, just in the oh. waiting. Pardon? No, just in the waiting room. Nobody is here in the waiting room. Okay, cannot admit anyone here. No one is here on the screen. Okay, let me check it. Yeah, admitted. Okay, fine. So next we are discussing about the geographical condition is required for the growth of cotton. Okay. So cotton grows well in the drier part of the black cotton soil on the Deccan plateau. It requires a high temperature, underline, high temperature, light rainfall or irrigation. Light rainfall, not heavy, but a light rainfall, 210 frost-free days and bright sunshine for its growth. Okay. These are some climatic and geographical condition required for the growth of cotton. Okay. It is a carry crop. Cotton is a carry crop. And it requires six to eight months to mature. Okay, it will take a nearly six to eight months to mature. Then only we are able to pluck these cotton balls. You can see the picture of the cotton balls here. Yes, sir. Okay, clear? Okay, fine. So, major cotton producing states are Maharashtra, Gujarat, Madhya Pradesh, Karnataka, Andhra Pradesh, Telangana, Tamil Nadu, Punjab, Haryana. And Uttar Pradesh. Check it. Okay. Major cotton producing states. Okay. So, so many are here. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 states names are there. Minimum 5 you have to learn. Right. Understand? Yes, sir. Okay. So, that is important. That is important. Okay. So, these are the um, <clears throat> important geographical and climatical conditions that is necessary for the growth of cotton. What are they? Check it again. Cotton grows well in the drier part of the black cotton soil. Black cotton soil. Okay. So the soil is named after cotton. Named after cotton because cotton plant will grow well in that uh, that soil. That's what a black cotton soil of Deccan plateau. Deccan plateau in peninsular India, southern India. It requires a high temperature. High temperature, right? Okay. Light rainfall or irrigation. Repeating light rainfall or uh, irrigation. Next uh, important uh, aspect is 210 frost free days clear clear sunlight is necessary for the growth bright sunshine for its growth it is a carry crop and it requires six to eight months to mature major cotton producing states you already discussed that maharashtra to uttar Pradesh. minimum five you should land there right okay next one jute one mark answer the first sentence is a one mark answer it is known as the golden fiber golden fiber okay why it is termed as golden fiber? Because it is in the golden color. Ah, oh, it's color. It's color. So you know that the gunny bags, right? Gunny bags. Gunny bags are made up of jute. So basically, they are using to packing rice or grains in that bags. Okay. So that sure. color, that color, it's a golden color. So this jute is uh, termed as golden fiber. Many cameras are off. Almost all the cameras are off, I can say. Huh? I can count only nearly 10 cameras are on. All other cameras are on. Why it is so? Keep your cameras on, everyone. Okay, so come back. That's about uh, cotton. Sorry. Now we have just started discussion of the jute here. So it's known as the golden fiber. Jute grows well on well drained fertile soil in the flood plains where soil are renewed uh, every year. Right? So, jute is growing in the banks of the river or in the river banks. So, every year because of deposition after the flood, uh, okay, a new flood plain will form there. Alluvial deposition. Clear? At the time of a flood, what will happen there in the banks of the river? The river will uh, deposit alluvial soil, right? New alluvial yes. soil. Yes. And this new alluvial soil is necessary for the growth of jute. So basically, it is growing near the river banks. Okay. So underline, jute grows well on well drained fertile, fertile, fertile soil in the flood plains. Okay. The soil that uh, rich with the uh, humus and other organic material. That's what fertile soil. Here basically it is alluvial soil. Okay. In this flood plains where soil are renewed every year. <coughs> so everywhere after the flood, we are able to find a new layer of. Uh, fertile soil in the river banks. Clear. Underline. 
and the high temperature is required during the time of growth underline next point high temperature is necessary for the growth of a jute high temperature west bengal bihar assam odisha and meghalaya are the major jute producing states underline it is used in making of gunny bags use of jute basically using to make what gunny bag underline mats ropes yarn for different other purposes carpets and other artifacts other materials right that of economical value due to its high cost the cost of jute is too high it is losing its markets okay so the process of making jute is not that easy it's a labor intensive technique number of workers are necessary for processing jute so the cost of jute is comparatively higher than any other fiber okay natural fiber okay not any other fiber but natural fiber here it is losing its market to synthetic fibers and packing materials particularly the nylon today because of the high cost of jute uh, people they are started using synthetic materials synthetic uh, materials if you are going to shop you can see that uh, almost all the packing bag is made up of plastic and uh, other synthetic material like nylon uh, okay so nylon is a substitute basically people are using uh, <clears throat> instead of what jute okay so cotton jute completed now open your uh, notebook everyone please open your notebook i mean notes writing materials take it right on horticulture crops horticulture crops horticulture crops many students they are in discussion with uh, someone else there rifa what is going on surya krishna da stand on your camera hey steve hi the magna mr vishnu vivi apsana please turn on your camera and start writing horticulture crops horticulture crops so india is the largest producer of fruits and vegetables fruits and vegetables okay so as per your textbook it is second largest right yes or no yes sir hello yes sir yes sir okay so correct it india is the second largest producer of fruits and vegetables in the world in the world india is a producer of tropical as well as temperate fruits india is a producer of tropical as well as temperate fruits india is a producer of tropical as well as temperate fruits okay so next one non food crops next heading non food crops non food crops what are the non food crops john samuel john samuel major fiber crops grown in india what are the fiber crops that are grown in india growing in india one is cotton second one is jute. jute third one is hemp and fourth one is silk okay natural silk so mention natural silk okay are the four major fiber crops grown in india in 2014 so please check that the year is that 2014 or 16 in your textbook 16 right this will be hello adi that how did it that 2016 yeah 16 2016 india was india was the largest second. or the second largest second largest producer ah second largest producer of what cotton after cotton after china after right china. so in 2016 india was second largest producer of cotton after china cotton after china in 2016 
India was the second largest producer of cotton after China. Cotton after China. Full stop. Next point. Cotton is one of the main raw materials for cotton textile industry. Cotton is cotton is one of the main raw material in previous point one more time previous point in 2016 india was the second largest producer of uh, cotton after china got rifa done yes sir okay next point cotton is one of the main raw materials cotton is one of the main raw materials in the cotton industry the cotton industry the cotton industry okay next point cotton grows well in the drier parts of black cotton soil cotton grows well in the drier parts of drier parts of drier parts of the black cotton soil black cotton soil black cotton soil of the deccan plateau of the deccan plateau of the deccan plateau full stop it requires it requires high temperature it requires high temperature comma light rainfall or irrigation it requires high temperature comma light rainfall or irrigation light rainfall or irrigation comma 210 frost free days 210 frost free days and bright sunshine and bright sunshine 210 frost free day, days and bright sunshine okay completed bright sunshine for yes, its growth for its growth done okay for its uh, growth full stop next major cotton producing states are what are they what are the major uh, cotton producing states please write down maharashtra what john john yes, sir any doubt no yes, sir okay. i told the major uh, so last point the major cotton producing states are write down right Maharashtra, Maharashtra, comma Gujarat, comma Madhya Pradesh, comma Karnataka, Andhra Pradesh, comma Telangana, comma Tamil Nadu, comma Punjab, comma Haryana. and uttar pradesh and uh, uttar pradesh these are the major cotton producing states of india next subheading jute jute j u t e jute what about aditya krishna any doubt okay jute jute grows sorry jute is known as the golden fiber jute is known as the golden fiber first point jute is known as the golden fiber are you writing there mr riswan 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 of class 10a writing okay so that's it first point jute is known as the golden fiber jute grows well on well drained fertile soils jute grows well on well drained fertile soil 
repeating jute grows well on well drained fertile soils in the flood plains in the flood plains in the flood plains where soils are renewed where soils are renewed every year where soils are renewed every year where soils are renewed every year okay soils are renewed every year full stop high temperature is required during the time of growth high temperature is required during the time of growth high temperature is required during the time of growth high temperature is required during the time of growth next one next point due to its high cost due to its high cost it is losing its market it is losing its market to synthetic fibers due to its high cost it's losing its market to synthetic fibers and packing materials and packing materials particularly the nylon particularly the nylon the last sentence in your textbook particularly the nylon okay next sentence west bengal west bengal comma bihar bihar comma assam assam comma odisha odisha and meghalaya odisha and meghalaya and meghalaya are the major jute producing states are the major jute producing states sir can you say one more time repeating west bengal bihar assam odisha and meghalaya are the major jute producing states okay clear so one one made answer already you marked the rearing of silk frame for production of the silk is termed as synthetic silk is termed as sericulture all right that's about the silk only that point is there okay so nothing more than that so today we discussed about uh, uh, non food crops non food crops what are they rubber okay cotton jute okay clear next yeah. class we want to complete this chapter so just read the entire uh, paragraph or uh, next pages too okay i will show that just read and come so easily i can finish it i can in the sense we can together we will do it not just completing okay some important aspects are there like uh, technological and institutional reforms the changes that made by the government and the bhudan and gramdan movement okay clear and the importance of food security these are the major things that one would discuss in the next session so please read it okay clear so we will complete that some areas are not there in your text forget things so right yes, bhudan gramdan gramdan movement is there yes sir yes it is there okay fine what about the contribution of agriculture and to the national economy employment yes, and output is there right yes, okay fine so that's it so just read it and we will meet in the next session hello can you hear yes sir okay so it's the time to wind up the session almost 240 or 250 okay guys so please read it and learn all those things there okay bye thank you thank you thank you sir